So what, like, why, um, what makes my thoughts worth listening to? Why would somebody else who can't be in my mind consciously, why would they be interested in that? What, I guess it's like an ego thing, isn't it? Because one of the things I suppose being a performer or, yeah, I think being a performer or a maker, you know, an artist in general, I suppose, is is the ego of feeling, believing that other people should hear your thoughts. Like how could you talk to someone properly if you just like giving them your thoughts, giving them your thoughts, giving them, and they're also at the same time giving you their thoughts. I don't know, I suppose in a way that's what conversation is, but... So it's a conversation then, is it? It's, it's interesting that, that the mind can become interested in something, in a physical action. Oh wow, this is interesting. So we're here to do but to experience ourselves and through experiencing myself experience other humans without how do I just be without without affecting other people I'm not sure if that's really the question I'm asking. And how does any of this relate to choreography?